this i am anand from anand technical stuff and today I, uh, today i will show you how to calculate the peak data rate in lt and uh, before uh, that uh, if you have not subscribed my channel first subscribe my channel because every time i'm coming with the new videos new stuff and it will be helpful for you so subscribe it then you will get the notification every time and also uh, click on the bell button and it will give a notification to you hello friends i am anand for non technical stuff today i am going to show you how to calculate the peak data rate before the peak data rate calculation just i want to show you the lt frame structure fdd frame structure so how it look like that and which parameter is the need to calculate the uh, uh, data rate so this is a frame structure this is a frame one frame which contain the total uh, tens of frame and tens of frame is 0 to uh, 9 and uh, in this sub frame actually total length of this sub frame is 10 millisecond uh, frame is 10 millisecond and one sub frame is 1 millisecond uh, if uh, I talk about the one sub frame then it is 1 millisecond and uh, total length of this sub frame is 10 millisecond and one sub frame which contain two slot slot 0 and 1 and uh, slot 0 is 0 0.5 millisecond slot 1 is 0 0.5 milliseconds total 1 millisecond and when we are talking about the slot 0 so 0 contains slot 0 one slot contain the total 7 OFDM symbol 7 OFDM symbol when when it is using normal CP if it is a normal CP then 7 OFDM symbol will be used if extended CP then 6 symbol will be used six sample will you so i'm talking about the normal cp so a total seven ofdm sample is used in normal cp so uh, we have divided this sample in sub carrier so total seven uh, sample one two seven sample and divided in 12 sub carrier this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. this is 12 and uh, when we are uh, 12 sub carrier and when we are talking about this part this is 12 kilohertz frequency is 12 kilohertz if we are talking about total 12 cell carrier then uh, 15 into 12 that means 180 kilohertz so this is the carrier when we are talking about this as uh, one uh, special this block so this is the resource element this is called re is resource element resource element total number of re in this one rb is 12 this 12 into 7 84 re in one rb so after that and this re contain bits bits like that if suppose that if you are using QPSK QPSK modulations 60 com modulations and 64 com modulations so bit will depend upon this modulation scheme if QPSK then 2 bit will be used 60 com 4 bit will be used and 64 com is 6 bit will be used 6 bit will be used so 2 bit that means if suppose that QPSK using then here 2 bit will be used if uh, 64 com then this RE is in 4 bit if uh, 64 com then 6 bit 6 bit will be used so this is the important uh, parameter important element uh, I will utilize I will utilize this parameter to calculate the peak data rate in LT so first understand this picture after that I will show you uh, how we will calculate the peak data rate in LT so uh, again I, I just want to show you in brief uh, this is the one frame which contain the uh, 10 uh, subframe or uh, 10 subframe length is 10 millisecond one subframe contain 1 millisecond one subframe which contain two slot uh, of 0 0.5 millisecond and one slot contain seven OFDM symbol and uh, seven OFDM symbol it is normal CP extended CP is a six sample and this <coughs> A 7 OMD symbol is divided in 12 sub carrier 
and this uh, uh, difference between the two sub carriers 15 kilohertz total if uh, you will see the total sub carrier uh, frequency then 180 uh, kilohertz this is a resource block and this uh, this uh, block is called a resource element and resource element and uh, total number of resource element in this uh, block is 12 into 7 that total 84 resource element is used if you are using the QPSK then 2 bit will be used if you are using the 60 com then 4 bit will be used if you are using the 64 com then 6 bit will be used so this is the uh, basic concept of the LT frame structures uh, so I will show you now how we calculate the uh, data rate in LT so before that uh, just I am uh, taking the one example if suppose that uh, uh, A channel bandwidth is if channel bandwidth is 20 megahertz if you will use the MIMO uh, definitely your throughput will be more so uh, if you are using the 4, 4 plus MIMO then your data throughput will be multiplied by 4 if you are using the 2 cross 2 MIMO then your data throughput will multiply by 2 so this is basic concept of MIMO now if you are using the channel bandwidth 20 megahertz this is the one example just i am uh, calculate on the basis 20 megahertz channel bandwidth that means uh, uh, on that 20 megahertz so first uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah one thing i will also show you if you are using the 20 megahertz memory total rb will be 100 resource block 10 megahertz is equal to 15 rb 15 megahertz equal to 75 rb now if suppose that i am using the 20 megahertz that means 100 rb total number of rb equal to 100 100 RB multiply by one resource block RB that means resource block one resource block contain total 12 sub carrier right 12 sub carrier then 100 resource block equal to 100 into 12 sub carrier and 12 sub carrier total OFDM symbol is used at 7 right total OFDM symbol 7 symbol is used now symbols for you symbol is used if suppose that this is the throughput on one uh, slot if two slot one uh, uh, if suppose that we are talking about the one subframe that two slot will be used then multiply by 2 then how much uh, 168 0 per subframe total number of RB is 100 100 RB 100 RB to 20 if we are talking about the 20 megahertz if we are talking about 20 megahertz then 100 r will be used 12 sub carrier because one slot contain the 12 sub carrier is 12 sub carrier seven, 7 sample 7 e ofdn sample one slot contain the 7 ofdn sample then 7 ofdn sample this is a two slot slot one to slot if we are talking about the subframe the total uh, resource element total resource element this re are resource element so total resource element in one subframe multiply by two right so it will be multiplied by two so total resource element total block total block yeah you can say that total resource element is 168 zero r is per subframe now already i told that this resource element contain bits right 
if qps k then 2 bit 60 com 4 bit 64 com then 6 bit will be used if we are taking our modulation scheme if 64 com we are using the 64 com then uh, total 6 bit 64 com 6 bit will be used in one re resource element in one re total 6 bit will be used in one re in one re total 6 bit will be used so 16800 re resource element into 6 equal to total total 64 com 6 bit in one re in one re in one re total 6 bit will be then total re in subframe is total re uh, uh, total bit in re 16800 is multiplied by 6 6 if you are using the 60 com if you will use the 60 com then multiply by 4 if you are using the qpsk then multiply by 2 so total bits is 100800 bits will be used millisecond right because this is the one millisecond right so we have calculated total number of bit we have calculated total number of bit in one millisecond so total number of bit is calculated is 100800 bits in one millisecond in one millisecond now we'll convert in mbps it's uh, become one double zero hundred point eight mbps this is the this is the data rate this is the data if you are using four cross four mimo already have told that in four cross four mimo four cross four mimo that means four layer four antenna will be used this is for the one antenna one layer if four cross four then four antenna will be used then four into one zero zero point eight equal to if you will calculate here then total four zero three mbps now fourth this is the uh, data rate speed peak data rate speed now actually this 4 4G 3 mbps 25 percent overhead is used here overhead used overhead means uh, there is some signaling is used pdcch reference signal uh, pbch some coding we get uh, actually there is a lot of overhead uh, will be used with the 4g3 mbps so that we will we will the reduce the 25 percent overhead here so 403 into 25 percent so is equal to total 302 mbps this is the exact peak data rate peak data rate exact peak data rate is 302 mbps so this is the calculation of peak data rate in lt 302 mbps again just i want to uh, brief six if 64 com 6 bit one re, one re 60 once uh, one total number of re will be uh, in one millisecond is 16800 re is if suppose the 60 com then multiply by 6 then 100 itna bits a bits in one millisecond then total mbps is 100.8 mbps uh, this is the data rate if you are using the four cross four mimo then multiply by four then 403 mbps 25 percent overhead is used some signaling pbs for dcs there is a lot of signaling have to be also used to for the data uh, for the transfer the packet so 25 percent overhead will be reduced the 403 25 percent will be reduced uh, final uh, if you will see in calculation this 300 box mbps will be 
data rate in uh, LT. If if this is the four cross four cross four MIMO, if you use the two cross two MIMO, then multiply here with two into hundred point eight is two hundred uh, something and uh, is twenty five percent will be overhead will be used. So this is the two cross two MIMO put and this is the one and uh, one uh, antenna uh, tx antenna then uh, also calculate uh, this is not exact the, it is the overhead is included so also 20 25 percent is overhead than 75 mbps if there is a single antenna then 75 mbps two cross two there was something four cross four total 302 mbps will be used so this is the calculation of the um, peak data rate and uh, um, this is the uh, concept so thanks for watching this video and video and if you have not subscribed my channel so please just subscribe my channel because every time i am coming with the new videos and it will be helpful for you so please subscribe it then you will get the notifications and thanks for watching this video bye take care thank you